praise the name of the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Shalom family. Uh, happy to be here sharing the love of God and the word of God with you. Um, if you're new on the platform, welcome in Jesus' name. My name is Samuel E. Molombe. And I am the man that God uses. And I welcome you today in Jesus' mighty name. If you're family, you always come back to watch these videos. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for joining us today. God greatly, greatly bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So family, I have a phenomenal word. Uh, it's quite phenomenal. You need some patience to listen to this. Um, and if you understand it, you'll understand a key truth about your season. Now, if you do not understand your season, you will not be able to acquire the right wisdom or you will not be able to apply the right wisdom, you know, to maximize that season. And that's one of the greatest, greatest problems with a lot of believers. So God brings you into a season, but you don't know what to do with it, right? You don't know exactly what to do. This morning, I feel greatly impressed in my heart to share um, something very, very phenomenal with us. From a long trip um, into, um, into the United States of America, um, and I received um, this word while I was, you know, just studying the book of Esther. Again, it is... It's strange because I've read the book of Esther like a thousand and one times. I really lost count of how many times I personally have studied the book of Esther, you know. But while I was on that long flight, I was just, I had to study something. And the Lord, um, a word, a, a one phrase kind of like lit up in my spirit. And I decided to, you know, go back and just go through it to see what God was, where God was going with that. And the Lord is saying, um, or the Lord witness in my heart that the season you are entering requires a lot of strategic moves, all right? It requires a lot of strategic moves um, um, because the Lord says that the Esther anointing will attract um, some, some wolves, right? Um, there are people who are star readers. Yes, they, they have a negative prophetic. Please, Please, family, I need you to listen to this very carefully. Um, this is, this is mind-blowing. It's, it's life-transforming. There are people you will meet on your path, you know, to destiny who have a negative, they, they have a negative prophetic. They are able to read stars, but they're not reading it with the intention of celebrating the owner, but with the intention of stealing it. So God is saying that you have entered into the same season of exposure and manifestation. Um, and that's the reason why you got pushed in your spirit to study about the book of Esther. Maybe you are reading the book of Esther or there has been a... Uh, forgive the sound if you heard it. That's the, the, the automatic sprayers, man. That, that thing gets me every time. <laughs> it gets me every time. Anyway, back to what I was sharing. Um, so you might have been, you might have been perceiving yourself like that, or I have a relationship with this, or I am of this, you know, you just seen yourself, um, um, like that in that light. And if you listen to this very carefully, because it will change, it will change a lot about how you see yourself and how you think. Probably you have received the prophetic word saying that you have that same anointing or that same calling like Esther or you perceive yourself to be one. Listen, the Esther anointing attracts a lot of things. As a matter of fact, the anointing generally attracts a lot of things. So you need to be very strategic. There are people who have studied the stars and they have realized that there is a Vashti that is about to be unseated. Right? There's somebody who has sat where you belong and, they are, and their time is up, literally. Their time is up. You know that you're about to enter into a phase and you're about to enter into something heavy, something mega, something revolutionary. All together, you're about to be, you know, there's about to be sensational heat. 
there's about to be a manifestation kind of like a revealing of who you truly are and and god has been preparing you for this moment but now understand that when esther was to come into fame and to come into the palace there were other people who were there as as contestants they were contesting for esther's position or for the very position that esther was contesting for number one number two there were people who were there before she came who were serving in the palace and understand the nitty-gritties of the palace and understand how things operate in the palace and they should have been telling esther that you know um if you if you submit to us if you pay your allegiance to us and all of that we can be able to show you around you don't know your way around and the king likes this and the king likes that there are all these wolves around making so much noise so the lord is saying that as he brings you into our uh, you know um into the favor you have been trusting the lord for there are so many wolves people who have seen your destiny the prophetic negative prophetic and are trying to connect themselves to you not because they love you or they buy they, they, they really stand for what you stand for but because they are seeing that you are a quick access to the palace the lord is saying vashti still has loyalists within the ranks Oof. that's the word that god said and it blew off my mind that vashti still has people who are loyal to her within the system that might still be telling her the, the secrets might telling her how things are going so when esther comes in esther has to be strategic because there are wolves around <laughs> Now, I want to show you something from the scripture. Now, we studied this so many years ago. The Holy Ghost is bringing this to my spirit even as I, as, I, as I give this prophetic word. If you follow me and read this scripture, you would really understand what I'm sharing about the, the, the people who are still loyal to Vashti who might be parading around Esther. Hmm. So, we all know we all know um just give me a second i'm sorry about the distraction we all know that um goliath was killed right david killed goliath but what you did not know is this first samuel 17 the bible talks to us about first samuel 17 the the um you know, the, you see the battle there, Goliath and everything, they kill Goliath. But the problem of Goliath was not completely fixed because Goliath has a, had a son. And if you read down, you realize that Israel still had to come and fight because the giants fight the sons of the giant. Who else is the giant? It was only Goliath because at this time, the Lord had destroyed the other giants in the scripture. And Goliath was the only giant that was existing as at the time. So they killed him, but his son was still there. There are people who are still loyal to the previous system. There are people who are still loyal to the person who you are taking over from. And they are going to be around you parading as wolves, trying to see the weakness of the system that Esther is bringing to, say, to tell Vashti so that they can find ways to destroy her. Please, this prophetic word is for someone who has entered into their most strategic season of their life. The Lord is saying that the people you talk to matter the, the moves you make matter you have come to a point where decision making is a very important key this prophetic word is coming to you to prepare you and to charge you up so that you are not found wanting you know prophecy comes to you know prep you for the seasons you're about to enter so the lord is saying you have gotten into a season of strategic moves you cannot afford to make mistakes move strategically move in wisdom the esther anointing that is on you will attract favor but will also attract enemies we we'll attract wolves we we'll attract wolves in sheep clothing we we'll attract people who are coming to steal your position i remember talking to this very mighty man of god in africa and he told me something he says the anointing attracts all kinds of things as a matter of fact, in his words, he said the anointing attracts the good, the bad, and the ugly. 
the anointing attracts it's like a flavor it's like a it's like um an 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 an, an ogre right it, it 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 attracts all manner of stuff and if you do not know how to deal with it i'm telling you the gospel truth you can be messed up you can be messed up understand that there are people who are loyal to the previous system who are still around you and god is saying watch out because they do not think good about you i pray that this prophetic word settles in your heart I pray that it gives you the wisdom to know how to deal with the seasons that you are entering. I pray that the Lord bless you. I pray that the Lord keep you. I pray that the Lord cause His face to shine on you and be gracious to you. 